the first time a microbe interacts with another living thing, it's always an experiment of nature, and you never know how it's going to turn out. From the moment this young boy bartered his time at a toy store for a microscope, Stanley Falco wanted to be a microbe hunter. I always wanted to know what was the difference between the harmless ones and the ones that cause disease. Falco and his students created a field of science that details how bacteria cause disease, which changed the way microbiologists think about pathogenic bacteria. Bacteria have no social aspirations, they have no ego, they have no morals, and they have no passports. What they really want to do is find a place to live and reproduce. Once we understood that microbes cause disease, and if we could interfere with the microbe getting to the human, we would stop the disease. Falco figured out that tiny biological elements called plasmids would be key in his hunt. Well, it's a plasmid. It's a little extra chromosome that's in bacteria that carries various pieces of information. We call it genetic loose change. And while playing detective in his lab, Falco also served as matchmaker to Herb Boyer and Stanley Cohen for one of biology's greatest discoveries. I said, you do the experiment and you tell me if it works, because if it works, I know exactly the first gene I was gonna clone. It was an E. coli toxin that caused traveler's diarrhea. And it was important, an idea of a tourist, having tourista doesn't particularly bother me at all, but it was a great killer among infants in the developing world. The recombinant DNA really gave us the key to go forward with a precise work on the mechanisms by which bacteria cause disease. Falco, true to his word, cloned his first gene to understand harmful bacteria and approaches to prevent the diseases they cause. Officially, Falco has stepped away from the rigors of running a lab, but he is still a major presence teaching and mentoring students on the Stanford campus. One of the great joys of being a professor, you never ever know what moment some student is gonna stand in your doorway and say, I have something interesting to show you, and you know the next five years of your life are laid out in front of you. There's a discovery there. <laughs>